All right, this next story may make you squirm. Imagine living in a home overrun by rats. That is one 92-year-old woman's reality, and she invited Eyewitness News reporter Fody Kalurgis inside to see the problem firsthand and why she says she can't get help. Gina and Alona, I can tell you this is something that my photographer and I have never experienced before. The rats not only seen on the outside, but inside as well. The rats not afraid of us or the 93-year-old homeowner who said she has tried to do everything to get rid of the rodents and doesn't know what else to do. From the moment you walk into 93-year-old Anna's home, I tell my friend to come and visit. You're overcome by a foul odor. It, it pee all over the place. And it doesn't take long to hear and see the problem within minutes of sitting down. You're afraid, you know? Yeah. We heard loud squeaking and scratching from every corner of Anna's dining and living room. Can, can you hear them right now? Yeah, oh, I'm used to. She showed us what happens every day when she feeds her partially blind dog, Babe. When I put on the ground, uh, I was thinking he eat all, but he didn't. Mealtime on the couch becomes a game of dog versus rat. <coughs> Babe clearly outnumbered. We counted at least seven rats chowing down on Babe's homemade Italian dog food. Not a bit camera shy. Big rats, some the size of squirrels. I go forget the toaster. The bread is gone. The infestation out of control. It's very, very, very uh, uh, destructive. Parts of the couch eaten. They hide in the walls and are constantly sweeping their droppings. Uh, the second bedroom, I, can, I need to be fixed completely. Anna says her rodent problem started after Hurricane Ike, which left holes in her roof and home. The rats slowly moved in. She called pest specialists to get rid of the rats. Some were exterminated, but not all. When that didn't work, she says she hired another contractor and got conned out of 900 bucks. Then she lost faith. I don't know what to do anymore. Miss Anna said she wants to help, understands it's a big job, but she said she's not willing to leave her home, not even for one day, while the extermination is taking place. In Southeast Houston, Foti Kalurgis, 13 Eyewitness News.